Stock photos. A scam? Stock photos. Has it blown up and is becoming a rising tide? Or is it really just another get rich quick scam? Could it still be possible to ride this tidal wave to riches, or is it too late? Let's get into it. Alright, as usual, for those of you over here on Facebook, let me keep seeing those comments roll in, and for you all on YouTube, Come on, hit that like button, show me some love, and let's hit that subscribe button too while we're at it. All right, let's get into it. If you have been looking to sell stock photography and have heard the stories, you may be asking, why? See, there are countless reasons these photographers are burning out, spending hours, and I mean hours a day, shooting, editing and posting and managing their online stock portfolios and for very very little return we're talking about ten dollars a month so let's talk about the four reasons why this happens that separate the chumps out of the market which leaves room for those of us who are banking up to 750 a month within the first 120 days You'll see for yourself why this is a video that the mainstream stock photography websites do not want you to see. So this video honestly might be forced down at any given time. So make sure to watch it to the end and I have something special for you too. Maybe you're thinking about setting up a stock photography or selling your photos online and you saw stock photography as a great way to get started. You know, not just because it gives you a profitable reason to hone your chops, you know, master a certain type of style and experiment with new flavors and get paid for it, but because you often have spare photographs that, you know, are just laying around anyway that could be useful that you could potentially have up working for you by tonight. And these are all great reasons to get into photography. And because stock photography doesn't have to be the end goal or means to an end. But having these stock photography libraries can mean a profitable passive byproduct of a larger, of, of much larger projects. But people take this the wrong way. They think that they can just upload anything and everything and expect it to s and expect to sell something. But you know who does that? Walmart does that. They do that. And guess what? They're competing on price. It's a race to the bottom. They're selling general goods. If you do this, you're commoditizing yourself by selling a commodity. If you operate this way, you're selling what everyone else is selling and you're scamming yourself. The first reason it's a scam, it's because nobody taught you how to pick a market, let alone a profitable one, a market that's selling like, uh, there's a word I wanna use, but romance in Vegas, okay? That's high in demand, a market that has, uh, ha has so many buyers and few people giving the supply. Two, you're selling to the wrong places and to the wrong people. So quick example, maybe you take some travel photographs. Next thing you know, someone picked it up for $20, handed you a couple dimes in commission, and now you're seeing it in international living on some of the major travel sites. Now, do you think you could have sold that photo to them directly? Possibly, though admittedly, it would be pretty tough to get that deal. But it only takes one publisher to get this done. But you don't know this until it's too late because you didn't have a buyer in mind for your type of photographs. You didn't take the value of your work seriously, so you got shysted. What can I tell you? Three, nobody's given you the plan. They don't want you to have, they don't want you to have a plan. They don't want you to figure this out. They don't want you to know the system. They don't want you to have, uh, they don't want you to know the system because this severely limits your submissions and if you're no longer working for them, you're working for yourself. 
They don't want you to know the hot markets of the buyers. They want you to guess. They want you to just upload everything and see what sells, filling their libraries with high quality professional stock photography, while 90% of it doesn't sell. It gives them the McDonald's ability to say, 10 million photographs served. <sighs> Your photos are simply becoming a number to brag about. Does that kind of piss you off? It should, because there are photographers out there earning from $700 and or $750 a month in passive income who've just been getting started. And there's people, there's photographers out there who are earning up to $14,000 a month. $14,000 is a six-figure business, and it's a hell of a living. Now, how far you take this depends on your ability as a photographer and your willingness to make this work for yourself. But if you want the ability to sell photos without having to speak to anybody, without having to leave your room, without having to do anything at all, you know, without having to deliver anything more, simply by waking up every morning and checking your sales, making sure your bank account is still tied, then I've put together the ultimate stock photo profits quick start checklist that you can get in the description below right now. Here's why you should consider downloading this. One, I'm gonna teach you the hot markets that are in demand that there's very, very little supply for. Two, I'm gonna show you how to, the easy way to manage all of your profiles. And three, I'm gonna give you the secrets, the shortcuts, the strategies that the, the mainstream photo libraries don't want you to know that are gonna just streamline your path to profit. So that's in the link in the description below. Grab it and I'll see you on the other side. So it's good to have been frank with you all. Keep hustling and keep those hands filthy.